Hello, I'm Carson Block, and welcome to You Can Do It. You Can Do IT. This is basic networking for librarians, and we are going to have a good time today, believe it or not. Not everyone believes that we're going to have a good time doing networking, um, but as the case would be, we proved that during uh, 2015 in the spring and the fall, visiting 16 sites throughout Texas, all rural areas, bringing in librarians from all sorts of uh, rural uh, areas around uh, centers, and having fun, rolling up our sleeves and getting our hands dirty. Uh, by the time people uh, walked in, they weren't sure if they wanted to be there, so we kind of understand if you've got a little trepidation about that. However, by the time folks walked out, they have done some significant things, such as drawing a network diagram, breaking into a router, not physically, we didn't physically break it, but we log into the router, break it and then fix it, and learn lots of things along the way, walking out feeling confident. So this experience we hope is uh, somewhat like uh, being there live, um, and we're going to do our best to, to uh, do a good job for you today. I've been working in library technology for 20 years now, for the last four years only as a library technology consultant. Uh, in that time, I've worked with libraries of all sizes, from very small libraries like single room Carnegie libraries, all the way to large places like Los Angeles Public Library. One of the great things that I've learned in this time is that the technology problems that uh, each library faces are actually pretty much the same. Uh, there are different scales though. In a, in a small library, they're, they're, they're a little bit easier actually to accomplish things quicker than in a li large library where there's lots of moving parts. So that's the, the good news. Uh, there's more good news too, is that I believe that uh, libraries are hyper-local. And that means that the role of technology is serving our needs, uh, not technology as a shiny object into itself. Even though everyone loves the shiny technology object, that actually comes later. The first thing we want to do is look at what problems that we're trying to solve in our community or what sort of enhancements we're trying to do with our library. Um, uh, the way that we're helping our community and the way that we fit in our community. Then we look at the technology tool sets that we have, the toolkits and the different things, and apply those. 